Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you a rather impressive looking watch but before I really do, before I put it, uh, put this watch on my wrist, a quick disclaimer my wrist is way too small for this watch, like several sizes too small maybe <laughs> but I bought this watch anyway because I got it new for half of the price somebody bought it, decided they don't want it anymore they haven't even tried it and sold for half of the price i just can't pass opportunity like this so i just gonna have fun with this watch make this little review and sell sell without losing money i like doing that buying watches doing reviews and selling them without losing money that's that's good practice <laughs> so anyway i bought it because it looks rather impressive and me myself i actually like casio edifice line even though most of casio edifice watches are way too big for me but they still look interesting and impressive and i want to play with them and see how they are in real life so that's what I'm gonna try to do today and give you the perspective of how this watch feels and looks in a real life. Let me show a little trick. I can put this watch on my wrist without even opening the clasp when the bracelet is full is full of links. Like I'm not even <laughs> How ridiculous, how ridiculous man. What if I would wear it loose like, like so, you know, I like my bracelets loose man. <laughs> okay, let me resize the bracelet and I'll show you how it looks like. So I have removed five links, five links. Now it sits nicely on my wrist. I'm not sure, I may gonna add one link back and adjust the micro adjustments a little bit because it does feel like it is a little bit choking my wrist right now even though the micro adjustments are on the max so yeah i'm gonna add one link back later on but for the testing it's fine as is it does look rather impressive rather impressive it does have some things that i don't like about this watch i will tell you about those things you know what let's do it right now so right there are only three negative things i don't like about this watch but first of all i want to show you how it looks on a person from a distance just keep in mind that my wrist is way way too small for this watch so you don't see nice proportions as it should be it should be something like let me slide it up a little bit you know that size looks looks okay this one is just i look like a kid who has borrowed his dad's watch that looks a little bit ridiculous sorry for that but it's still it's still a nice watch <laughs> you like it or not it's still a nice watch so what are those three negative things i don't like about the watch first of all when you take the watch in your hands it feels cheap and nasty that's the problem of the clasp when you hold the watch uh, on the clasp the watch itself feels really good it's like solid links solid end links the watch itself is also very well built solid watch when you hold on a clasp it doesn't squeak doesn't rattle feels expensive a nice watch but once you let the clasp loose it's like oh come on it feels like 20 euro casio that's rather disappointing i mean this clasp is nice nice edges no sharp edges nicely finished but it just you know it doesn't fit the style of this watch the whole watch feels solid and very nice and this pressed metal clasp is just it just doesn't fit this watch it just cheapens the feel of it looks like a thousand euros feels like 20 euros it's just i don't know i don't like that if you don't care about that that's fine because the clasp itself is nice no sharp edges and when you have a watch on the wrist you definitely don't hear it you feel very soft nice links no sharp edges it's all fine unless you you know just handle watch like this then it feels rather cheap so other two things i need to flip camera off to show you other two things now other two things i don't like about this watch are the chronograph first of all pushers they have zero feedback they feel solid nice they don't wobble they sit very nice in place but they are just like you know you press and you hope something happens it's like 
there is no feedback and I really miss that feedback because what I'm used to are watches like this one where you press the pusher and it nicely clicks very nice clicky feedback I really miss that clicky feedback on this watch another thing which I don't like about this watch also about the chronograph is that the big seconds hand does not belong to the chronograph itself it's just a second hand of the watch and that's a little bit unusual on the chronograph what I'm used to is that the chronograph has this very big seconds hand when you start it goes nicely you know the big one when you stop it goes back to the 12 and stays there and that's just what I'm used to and that's what makes sense actually to me and on this chronograph the second hand that belongs to the watch itself is the bottom subdial but on this edifice watch it's the opposite the bottom subdial is the chronograph's second hand so let me start it the top one is just you know honestly it's just a decoration because if i would stop it right now tell me how much time have passed it's like five seconds and something or six seconds or something i can't really tell you know for me chronograph is not about accuracy it's about cooking something or charging your drone batteries or whatever where you just need a rough estimate 15 minutes 30 minutes something like that those seconds are not really that important but it's just really weird to see a big seconds hand ticking away it's like it's really strange to be honest anyway those are only three negative things I, I can think of speaking about the watch all other things are just big positive things so let's let's talk about them it's a very sporty very manly looking watch it's definitely not a cute looking watch no it's like the opposite of a cute looking watch very angular very sporty very manly muscular looking watch and it has very distinctive personality and i like that i like when watches have very distinctive personalities and this watch not only has distinctive personality but also the image the look you you see this watch from far away and you already know it's Casio edifice it's very important Casio edifice watches are those you know it's like big watch but it's a pancake it's unusually slim watch I will put the measurements in the description don't want to bore you showing you how I measure the watch so check the description for the measurements but it's like proportionally wise it's a very flat very slim watch and that's I would say it's very distinctive look for Casio edifice and that's important when watch has very uh, strong personality it, it's not like confused it doesn't know it's a cute watch or is it sport watch or is it dress watch no this one has very strong sporty personality very manly and I like that another thing is the finishing of the case itself it's like double sandwich all edges are very very nicely finished all polishing edges uh, matte finish edges brushed edges whatever it's like it's so nicely done I told you before in a previous edifice review that if somebody would give me this case alone you know naked case and would say that making this case uh, requires a lot of very expensive equipment and skillful labor that's why the case alone costs 300 euros and you know what i would believe i would believe that's why Casio edifice is just such a great value on top of that it has a very great very good reliable movement i would say 100 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal very good bracelet with solid links solid end links screw case back well the crown is not screw not screw down crown but it still has a hundred meters water resistance so yeah just just look at this watch it's like it's a piece of beauty it's quite an item to have <laughs>
So what are conclusions for this rather impressive looking watch? Well, it doesn't look impressive on my skin wrist, but if you have big wrists, uh, then with nice proportions on a big wrist, this watch is gonna look really, really nice, really impressive. So where I gonna place this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. This watch is not bad because it still has several things left to be desired like better clasp uh, pushers that would have a clicky feedback and the most important thing for me personally is that the seconds hand the big one does not belong to the chronograph that's for me personally that's disappointing too much and that's the main reason why i'm not putting this watch into keepers anyway Thank you for watching, have a beautiful day, goodbye.